Francium, like many businesses, has multiple applications that run the business. One of the challenges is keeping important data that is common across these many applications up to date. This has caused issues in the past. For example, shipping products to a customer's old address. While Boomi's master data hub can synchronize any data, for this example, we will be focusing on synchronizing customer addresses. We can begin by repurposing our integration process again to handle this new hub integration. For this, we'll have a two process setup with master data hub sitting at the center of all our applications. Process one will be from our CRM to master data hub, while process two will be master data hub to our ERP system. Let's start the setup of our second process. The beauty of a unified platform allows us to reuse existing components that we can leverage when configuring master data hub. I can copy my NetSuite shape and paste it into our second process. And all I need to do is update the operation to reflect the customer data type that we'll be mastering. Switching over to the MDH layer of the platform, we can start setting up the customer golden record. Firstly, let's establish a new source, that being NetSuite. Sources represent a system that contributes to the master data. I already have one set up for Salesforce, so we can skip that. Next, let's define our customer model. Each application has its own data format. In this example, our CRM uses account or account name, but our ERP is expecting customer or customer name. A huge benefit of Master Data Hub is being able to translate these different languages the applications use, thus keeping them in sync. Model creation in Hub is configuration based, just like every other part of the Boomi platform, and each layer builds on top of each other. We can use the profile generated at the integration layer to give us a great starting point. When defining your model for your golden record, it's important to only choose the fields that are most important for every application needing to receive this data. So by leveraging our customer profile generated by the NetSuite connector at the integration layer, we can pick and choose the fields that will be present in both our CRM and ERP to define our customer model, or should I say our customer golden record. Next, we'll attach our sources for this respective model. And from here, we can move on to setting up a data quality step. Data quality steps allow us to add an enrichment and validation layer, which ensures the data will be trusted while being kept in sync across all applications. We have a few built-in services like Dun & Bradstreet for company verification and Locate for address verification. But if these services are not what you're looking for, you have the flexibility to create a Boomi integration process, connect to any API, like a free weather API as an example, and leverage that as a data quality step. For this example, I'm just gonna use our locate service for simplicity. Next, let's make a simple match rule. By configuring the match rule to match on name, if two data sets come in with the same name, we'll treat them as the same record. Typically, more match rules are recommended in a production setting. But once that is all complete, we can now publish this new model. Now that our customer golden record is ready, we'll need to build a process in order to push the data into Hub. For that, we can leverage our MDH connector, which operates the same as every other connector in the platform. For the operation, we can browse the available models and use our newly published customer model. With our endpoints established, the last step is to configure our map shape. By selecting a new destination profile, which will be the customer model from Hub, we can use Boomi Suggest to expedite our mapping and complete the CRM to Master Data Hub process. And for our second process, we'll be going through the same steps, this time configuring our MDH connector as a source application and NetSuite being our destination.